this fruit farmer in Ehime Prefecture holds a Guinness World Record. But the record has nothing to do with the citrus fruits he grows. Yuya Shimizu has the fastest time running a 100-kilometer ultra marathon while wearing traditional Japanese geta. He set the record in 2015 and says running in the clog-like footwear was very challenging. During the race, the teeth on the soles of his sandals were largely worn away. Shimizu then set his sights on an even tougher task. <laughs> and of course, for the fun of it, the 38-year-old is going to compete wearing geta. Before the race, Shimizu goes to try on his new racing footwear. They were made by the craftsmen Makio and Yasuaki Miyabe. <laughs> Shimizu is impressed with the geta and how they fit. The Miyabe brothers have been designated master traditional craftsmen by the prefecture. They've been making geta for half a century. They've crafted two sets of geta. They're designed to withstand the harsh punishment of desert running. As the big day looms, it is Shimizu and his geta against Morocco's Sahara Desert. The marathon is billed as the world's most grueling foot race. For seven days, runners brave incredible temperatures and terrain. Shimizu's choice of footwear sparks conversation with other runners. And they're off. The first leg is 30.3 kilometers. Shimizu battles the elements. He finishes the first day without incident. Things continue to go well until day three when he encounters a problem. <laughs> With five days left, his geta are already taking a beating. With tape and other means, he manages to make them last to day four. But the terrain takes its toll, and he's forced to change into his spare set of geta. He continues racing into the night, navigating in the darkness. Ultimately, he completes the longest stage. At long last, he welcomes the final day. He is ready to enjoy the home stretch. His geta have withstood the Sahara, and after seven grueling days traversing more than 250 kilometers, Shimizu approaches the finish line. Tanned and triumphant, Shimizu completes the race. Having conquered the Sahara, he will no doubt soon be looking for an even more extreme Geta adventure.